Hi, I'm Dr. Ravi Mani, President of Bay Area Gastroenterology. We would like to discuss a very important topic about probiotics, prebiotics, and symbiotics. This topic is of great importance as there are great advances being made in the understanding of the bacterial populations that live in the gastrointestinal tract. The gastrointestinal tract is colonized by millions and millions of bacteria that coexist and this system is called the microbiome. The microbiome comprises several species of bacteria as well as several species of yeast and other organisms that appear to have an active role in the well-being of the individual as well as the well-being of the gastrointestinal tract. Minor alterations of this particular microbiome or the bacterial population has profound effects upon the individual's health and well-being. Modern science now tells us that we happen to happily coexist with millions upon millions of bacteria that are integral to the well-being of the gastrointestinal system, digestive functions, weight control, and perhaps even things such as regulation of sleep and mood. The use of antibiotics has been associated with an alteration of bacterial flora and oftentimes results in severe consequences in some individuals. The judicious use of antibiotics is always recommended. In order to restore the well-being of the bacterial population, it has been customary to modify the patient's diet, increase the amount of fiber, as well as the use of supplements such as probiotics and prebiotics. Probiotics are bacterial cultures that are given to the individual by mouth in order to restore the normal bacterial function of the gastrointestinal system. The bacteria appear to work by acting on receptors or areas of the small intestine and the large intestine that actively communicate with the immunological system the body's immune system as well as the body's nervous system. The gastrointestinal tract is often called the second brain because it has profound effects upon the normal functioning of the individual. Probiotics are available over the counter and the ones that typically are effective are the ones that have active live cultures and many of them are very effective in the treatment of gastrointestinal ailments such as irritable bowel syndrome, certain forms of colitis, as well as symptoms such as gas, bloating, abdominal pain, and chronic constipation. Not all probiotics are equal, and it would be appropriate to have a medical personnel assist the patient in choosing the appropriate probiotic. In the ancient world, the use of substances such as yogurt as well as kefir have been found to be effective in some of these ailments. Modern science and advances in neuroscience tell us that the gastrointestinal system and the bacteria that live in this are constantly interacting with the individual and modulating every organ of the body. Sometimes we use substances called prebiotics which are complex sugars that are used to provide fuel for the bacteria in the gastrointestinal system. A combination of probiotics and prebiotics is sometimes called symbiotics. At times we need to alter the gastrointestinal tract of patients using antibiotics very judiciously. The use of antibiotics has to be done very carefully because it can have profound effects upon the bacterial culture of the individual and this can have far-reaching consequences. It is now believed that many ailments of the gastrointestinal system such as irritable bowel syndrome, weight gain, mood disturbance and even symptoms such as depression may be related to alteration of the bacterial flora. At the present time there is a tremendous amount of excitement and work going on in the field of the microbiome. 
as we begin to unravel the mysteries of the gastrointestinal system, the way we approach many of these gastrointestinal disorders may involve the use of antibiotics, prebiotics, probiotics, and a combination of all of these called symbiotics. These are oftentimes used in patients who do not respond to conventional therapy. It is best that the patient have a complete and comprehensive evaluation to rule out any significant and serious disorders of the gastrointestinal system before they use probiotics and prebiotics to help with gastrointestinal problems. Modern science is now telling us that an active, healthy gastrointestinal system with a healthy population of bacteria has profound salutary effects on the immune system, the nervous system of the gastrointestinal system, modulation of pain, changes in mood, as well as weight gain and weight loss. We would be delighted to discuss your needs if you should be interested in availing the opportunity to discuss the use of probiotics in health and disease. Thank you very much.